Hi everyone, episode 184. What are you I believe. saying? 184. Um, returning the guest. The penultimate. The penultimate episode. Finally putting it to bed. Um, guest returning, returning guest, Bella Hull. Hi. You're back. Hi. 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 Dressed for, um, did you wear a all burglary? Black last time? I look quite serious. You are, you do look I was serious. I today as I was getting well, dressed. But just before we started, you were telling me how you just invested in a Curzon. I have, yeah. Film, yeah. You, but you look like a film reviewer. Do I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you saying I look fat and uh, old, fat and opinionate? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, no, you know what I mean? If, uh, reviewers, yeah. would, you would assume, well, are I, pretentious in their dress sense. I never went to the cinema, but I love films. And I want to be the yes. kind of person that knows about films. That says they love films. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You don't put the S <laughs> on I want to be the film. kind of person yeah, yeah, that yeah. says... Actually, no, I don't. I think if you ever say at a party, like, oh, I'm a bit of a film buff, Yes. Instant death penalty. That's yeah. All. I don't think, think you should ever. No, you talk about s- police academy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Step Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, uh, I. What is police academy? Did you just say? Yeah. What's police academy? Oh, oh, you're nothing. Too, you're too young for police nothing. academy. <laughs> What age are you? It's again? just some old black I'm and white 24. film. 24. Yeah. But you won't remember Police Academy. It's that's crazy. made me feel sick. It's the same thing as like uh, Hot Fuzz. Yeah, I mean, it was, no, that's I the would say, version. the OG <laughs> Hot Fuzz. Okay. Do you know what I mean? But Police Academy was basically an, a series of 80s films. Can you check how many there were in the end? Because I remember one I remember six, five was in Miami, wasn't five it? Five was in Miami. Six was... I, I remember oh, up to so Mesh- Mission to Moscow was number six. So <laughs> it got, I, I tailed off a bit towards that. Yeah. After number three, I thought they went shit, but I think they carried on a little bit. I think, there's, but there was basically it was about poli- a police academy, literally about police academy mm-hmm. in a I can't remember what American town, and they're all like the police are trying to drive their new recruits in. Okay, and there's six, a, six of comedy, them. Yeah. Yeah. There is six. Stop, no, they did stop at six. six. Have they done a revival? Eighty-nine. Or? No uh, revivals. No, I don't think they what have. Yeah, were no. you born then? No, 1998. Oh my. For, for real? Word. That's the like last week. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Do you remember 9 11? Um, what were you doing? Yeah, where were you that day? So, what, what was I? Th- I was <laughs> what were you three? aware of? Was I three? Yeah. Two and a half? No, I don't remember. Depends where your birthday was. When, what month I guess I was just at home. I was in my potato era at, th- at that point. Yes. What a funny thing to like, just yeah, be, imagine being three when 9-11 happened. Okay, How no. old were you when it happened, Lucas? I, was, uh, I wasn't even one. I was oh yeah, when God. were you born? I was born in 2000. Oh. Uh, so you're 22, 22, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Jesus. Um, but anyway, so forget police academy. But yeah, that sort of film buff thing. Yeah. And I Never I ever say you're a buff of anything. This is a rule, isn't it? Yeah, mm. a buff. I, anyone who's actually intelligent doesn't say how intelligent they are. Yeah, that's fine. I keep, my, I keep I'm not so very quiet. intelligent. That's why I tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Julian's very honest when he says that. Um, no, because um, I, I love films. I studied mm. film uh, briefly. Did you? Well, I went to uni to do film production. <coughs> I've watched some. And, uh, and now I quit uni. <laughs> I quit uni, like, so I didn't actually right, okay. complete it. But I was a That's film. That's what all the best people. But do. I was a film nerd in my teens. Why yeah. did you quit? So was I. I, I was also a film nerd. So yeah. So I am still. What, what kind of Interested films? in it? Well, I did history of art at uni, so that was a lot of like. Uh, Waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it's only yeah, nine grand a yeah, year tuition it was, fees. It was. It was a bargain. Old was it, yeah. French silent shit. Oh, lovely. That I like properly lovely. studied and did a degree in. Um, Emily, no, that's a. I mean, Emily, <laughs> that's yeah. probably a bit mainstream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. That's like you're into. Are you into sort of cult stuff music? like yeah, Clement like Poesi stuff? Yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. the kind of stuff. Yeah. Have yeah, you yeah. seen? So basically, before Fellini. <laughs> Fellini. Fellini is that a Fellini case? Fellini was the Italian. Is he Italian? Wasn't he Fellini? Yeah, Fellini. Yeah. Um, sure. You're pretending this you is know really Fellini. Sh- this is showing me up as a fucking thicko. Um, but so this week I watched The Banshees of Inner Sharon and Another Round, two very good films. Um, and have you seen? It's it? about Anyone's an alcoholic teacher. Them? Is it? So another round. What? Well, yeah, it got nominated for best like international film at the Oscars last year. Mads Mikkelsen, I think, got nominated for an Oscar for it for best actor. Um, but it's um, yeah, it's a Danish film mm. about four male teachers in their sort of midlife crises. Okay. And then basically they just come up with the dumbest idea to try and you know give themselves a bit of a pep up. And it's so funny and brilliant. Do they but fuck? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it like drink until they're dead? No, no, it's not. It's basically one of them has read a study that says um, it moots the idea that uh, humans are actually uh, they, they're running at an alcohol deficiency. 
And actually, our optimum alcohol level in our blood system is, is 0.5. Oh. So they just come up with this fun idea where they all basically exist at that level of drunkenness. So they're at work, right. four they teachers. They to keep topping up. They keep drinking yeah. at work secretly. And obviously, their lives get so much better because mm. they're all miserable and depressed. And, they're and in midlife they're crisis. Pissed. Suddenly, they're all a bit pissed at work. So their teaching gets better. But that has an end to it, though, doesn't it? Well, obviously, the film shows the, the danger of uh, <laughs> doing something like that and how it can develop. <laughs> And it's just one of the Great best films. It's a film. brilliant film. And it's really well done. And I loved it so much. And then I watched The Banshees of Inner Sharon. And it's... What was that like? Brilliant. Straight but afterwards. Well, did no, you watch no, that no, on no. Uh, on your TV? I watched on it cinema. on... Yes. And it's on... Because it's on... Um, what, what, you, what you call it? The Disney TV. cloth. Disney cloth. Is it long as fuck? No, not really. It's actually a relatively short film. But it's very... Um, I don't know why I presume very it was Irish, like three and a half. Say, yeah. Films half. are generally too long though, aren't they? At the moment, I would wrap it up in it. Like, what happened to like a, (laughs) yeah, what happened to just a 20 minute burst? Or or even like an hour and 21 minutes. An hour and 21 minutes is the perfect length for a film. Yeah, but it depends on how good it is. I love a long film if it's really good. No, Shawshank maybe can get away with it. Yeah, but I mean, if, yeah, yeah, can actually. But I think there's a way. I've watched films that are way. I've watched I the watched Irishman Avatar. in one go, and that's how long's the Irishman? Oh, the Irishman's like three and a half hours. Yeah, I watched that in one Lara. go, and I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even consider it being long. I'd really. Just, I was Have just you so seen into Avatar, it. The new Avatar. I haven't seen it. Long Good. as fuck. Yeah, the first one was long as well. Actually, I remember but that. I, 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 fa- I found it very long because it's not really the kind of thing that I'm into. Well, look, I d- yeah, no one's into it, but it's everyone ben- goes to see it. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a bit freaky. Like it's just a bit. The story was a bit Marvel. Yeah, it was like Marvel, but everyone's blue. Yes, um, I like. I do like the fact there's this weird, slight rivalry between people that like Avatar and people that like Marvel films. You know what I mean? Mar- yeah. People that love Marvel are fucking It's just the saddest weirdos. rivalry yeah. around, really. Well, because obviously, because Marvel, like, there's that thing of everyone says, people that love Marvel are always moaning about how Marvel never gets any, like, Oscar nominations. That's because that's it's a fucking kids film. Why do yeah. they give a fuck, though? Because it's their... They, they've, the film. But they've attached themselves to it, haven't they? But why on earth would a Marvel they? film get... Has a, a Marvel film ever been nominated for an Oscar? Uh, I think... Yeah, didn't, Black didn't, Panther. Black Panther got the best um, film Got best picture. Oh, uh, what, it this out. year? No. No, it's uh, when it came out. First one got yeah. And, um, so, but there is, a, there is um, an actress from the new Black Panther film has been nominated for best actress. She got actress. best supporting role? Oh, is it best supporting, yeah. yeah. So that's, I think she's the first actress from a Marvel film to ever get a nomination. Yeah. Well, they're just shit. Are they, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, I agree, they're shit. They're just, they look so expensive. Yes. But the... I kind of think this about like when comedy gets into like big blockbusters is it always loses a bit of its funniness. Yeah, I think yeah. comedy in films, the they film focus has on to production. Be... It's like music, yeah, isn't it? Over, yeah. overproduced. Yeah. Whereas they always lose a bit of the because I think for comedy, I think for something to be really funny, it has to be a little bit shitty. Yeah, thank you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like the, the the environment. Can that I have that for my yeah, Edinburgh yeah. poster? <laughs> A little bit shitty. A little bit shitty. But do you know what I mean? Like, have you seen yeah. Little Miss Sunshine? Yeah, yeah. So fucking funny because... I've not seen it. The car's squeaking the whole time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And they're like, they're not that rich. I think really, yeah. really it's rich. Raw. Be- it's raw. Yeah, it's yeah. so raw. Um, but yeah, I mean, you should, I'd, I'd recommend The Banshees of Inner Sharon. It's very funny, but then gets very dark quite quickly. Um, but it's it's but just... But Colin Farrell's in it. He's so good in it. The, the, the whole I don't really amazing. warm to him. I don't know why. Um, I think it's like a poor a man's Downey Jr. He's way better than Robert Downey Jr. You reckon? I, uh, yeah, as an, I as reckon. an actor. Really? As yeah, an actor, he is 100 times the actor. I don't know, actor. I just don't, I don't know why. Well, I, don't give me, I like Robert Downey Jr. He's a fun Hollywood actor. He's a yeah, Tom Cruise exactly. style actor. I don't like these actors he's when Marvel. they're interviewed. He's Marvel. Yeah. But Colin Farrell was an actual actor. Like He's yeah, done Colin the Colin Farrell's lot. doing some know. serious shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was in Boy, he, he auditioned for Boy Zone. Who did? Colin, Colin Farrell. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine him in Boy Zone. <laughs> Isn't he Irish every time, though, Colin Farrell? What do you mean Irish every time? Like, He's Irish every time. He well, no, he, he is now. He's actually reverted back to doing mostly, like you know, because he works uh, with that Martin McDonough a lot. And you know, who's he's going out with Fleabag? Who Martin McDonough is or I Colin Farrell? They is. got divorced. Really? Oh, they got divorced. Yeah. I think they got divorced. I didn't know. I didn't that. know they got married. Yeah, I didn't, got know, married. Any, I didn't yeah. know any of this of information at all. Um, oh, but no, but Colin Farrell went through a phase of being a Hollywood star. Remember, he did. He was in Alexander. Played Alexander yeah. the Great. Um, Bruges in Bruges. So in Bruges was when he sort of reverted back to being Irish almost. Before that, he had this weird <laughs> ten-year period of being like a Hollywood. He was in the Not Batman star. as well, which only came out last year, which I didn't like. As and a that bit got of nominated for some Oscars. That was, that was shit well. as well. I thought was Batman. it? 
I thought it's dog shit. I can't yeah. Did you get seen it? through yeah, that. It was all right. Shit. It's just too much. It's miscellaneous it's male content to me. No, but it was pointless. It was, there was no point to it. It was exactly the same as the, the last lot of Batman film, the Christopher Nolan ones. Yeah. And it's just like, why have they made this? It's basically made the same film again. And it's three hours long and it's boring as shit. <laughs> anyway, basically, I don't like superhero <laughs> films. Is what I'm yeah, to I say. think it's boring. I think the real world is interesting enough. It's true. Real superheroes. That jumper heroes. did a lot of heavy lifting <laughs> on that sentence. Uh, anyway, has anyone tried one of these blueberries? They're the shittest well, blueberries I've ever had. I just brushed my teeth before I got here, so I'm worried about it. You brush, when you brush your teeth, you can't eat fruit anymore. Well, I'm just worried about the acid and the toothpaste d- like creating a disgusting taste in my mouth. Right, yeah, they're, yeah. Um, they're, they're just dead, aren't nothing they? Nothing to them whatsoever. Oh, they're mo- it's more mush than bitter. It, no, it's, it's not even the consistency. There's no flavour. absolutely no flavour. And they're a Waitrose blueberry, which makes me even... St- have you tried them, Lucas? Take them back. I haven't. Would you like to try a, a very average blueberry? Blueberry. Yes. Um, this is podcast gold, this bit. Um, You're right, they're bad. Nothing, there's nothing I mean, the them. grapes are, like, splendid. Yeah, the, okay. the grapes are unbelievable. <laughs> Guys. Is it bad juju to eat on a podcast? I mean, I would. if it is, then we've had 184 bad juju episodes. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome <laughs> to the bad juju podcast. Um, so, what have you been up to since we last saw you? You did Edinburgh. Fuck. That's how long, yeah, it was pre-Edinburgh last how time. How was Edinburgh? You. Um, like a waking nightmare. Was yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you and Julian will have a similar opinion yeah, yeah. on it. No, I, uh, have you done anything? Some people hate it. He hates it. I've always, I've always quite I, liked I've it. I've never liked. I think when I go, I'm, I'm like in two minds about whether I go again. Ever this, or next this, this year. As in this year. Yeah. Just because like I don't at the moment have like a completely concrete idea of a show. Yeah. I'm gonna have to work my tits off to get, get there. Yeah. I think I put. I think I didn't enjoy it, but that was my fault. Right. Because I didn't let myself have any fun. Didn't let myself spend any money. What's fun like going out? Going out. Just you didn't. Like so you weren't. Doing you were coke doing off of toilet seats. Mm. Like I didn't do any of that shit. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because no, I was like, out. oh, I have to. For a debut year, you missed out. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's I missed the out. I didn't. Year. What I did you do? It. Go home every night. Yeah. Literally. Work on the show. No, not even work on the show. Just like go home and sort of preserve myself in doing so like made myself so depressed and also got uh, the loneliest I've ever been in my whole life yeah because I wasn't really all of the interactions I was having even though I was hanging out with loads of people they were all like hi how are you do you know what I mean yeah yeah, yeah. that's what it is up there though, yeah because it? it? oh, everyone's so obsessed with what's yeah. going on that they can't have a normal conversation yeah exactly I couldn't I didn't have a normal conversation for a month um but I learned a lot I definitely became a better comedian yeah. I also probably became a much worse person <laughs> in general that also does happen but that's there. kind of the like grow concurrently though yeah, yeah yeah i had to that's the I'm, yeah, i'll, I'll do it again i guess <laughs> so, yeah it's a real um yeah that, that <laughs> ratio also, is correct, i also I hope think. that i'll give less of a fuck now because i've sort of done it yeah i've done it once so i'm like well that was your first one yeah that was my first one yeah, and yeah. it was just like so stressful and now i'm like i know when people are talking shit do you know what i mean mm. yes i know what it's a waste of money i know what's a good use of money i know that uh it's half luck and half who you're having sex with and you know that's yeah. it um yeah there's a lot of, this is the thing there is a lot of factors and also mm. i think debut year is the one that you're most likely to potentially not enjoy as well oh yeah because you so know anxious. i think you do but yeah and also you put way more pressure on yourself than you oh. actually need to. Oh yeah, and the pressure other is year, so the, counterintuitive. Because the debut year, it makes you less funny. Well, yeah, because like the pressure on that first year, and it is real pressure. It's, I'm not saying it's all bullshit, but like, because mm. you know, the fact of the matter is, there's only ever what 50, 100 debut shows, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And you naturally cannot help but think, I want to be in the top ten and potentially get a nomination. You'd be mental yeah, yeah, not yeah. to think that. Exactly. Otherwise, why are you going? Why are you spending exactly? Much money? But the moment you're out of that debut year and you're doing normal years, yeah, you, you're mental if you think you're going to get a nomination. It's such a potluck thing of yeah. you're suddenly up against a thousand or fifteen hundred yeah. shows. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You know, even though I have to answer nomination, but um, like, <laughs> I, you know, the odds are against you, but it does happen sometimes. <laughs> that monologue um, was just to say that <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Also got a newcomer. But let's not get into it. <laughs> No, but, it's um, not about me. Um, yeah, no, no, you know, it's fine. It's not about the award. Like, no, what I mean is, the... but I never. When I, the, mm. I was so shocked when I got a main award nomination because mm. it wasn't even. I hadn't even contemplated it as a thing mm. that mm. year, and also because that year I was... saw it in your dream board. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's on your Oprah <laughs> vision board. He thinks board. the lady protests too much. <laughs> saw, saw that note fall out of my Deepak Chopra book. But, uh, <laughs> <With> <laughs> your <then>. candles. <laughs> Talking candles. to the universe on, <laughs> on Arthur's seat every night. <laughs> is, that the, is, that the, is that the secret you're carrying? <laughs> Fucking um, around uh, holding the secret. <laughs> Uh, but no, but I um, I, yeah, it was. I, it was didn't a even pure, occur to me. Pure <laughs> shot. It wasn't even in my peripheral. <laughs> Did I, you? I, have you watched The Secret on Netflix? It's the most. I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've not only <laughs> seen, watched it. I think I, I read it out of like I did sort of a it's, hate read of it. Like, but I. I feel so complicated about The Secret because I know that it is actually true. But then when you see people, you, I watched the documentary like the first 10 minutes and it was like this zooming in and out like yeah, the pyramids yeah, yeah, yeah. and like an eye. And it's like, I'm not. It was a lot of PR and like. That's fucking mental. Yeah. Yeah. It's but what, it, it is, it is, it is I know true. what you mean when you say it is true. Like, if you really intend to do something, but that, you're yeah. more likely to you're do more it. Likely, but it's you're more likely to do Whether it's the universe or, you know, your intention, the yeah, power yeah, yeah. of the brain yeah. intention, all yeah. your actions are being aligned yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But this is, we were, this is what I was telling Lucas before you both got here about a podcast I've been listening to called um, if Books Could Kill. <laughs> and it's a, it's a really good podcast series where two journalists... Um, look, take a popular book that they do the secret actually, but I haven't got to that episode yet. <laughs> but they take popular books that are pop science or something right, like that, yeah. and they they basically debunk it and take it yeah, down. Yeah, And like, so they did Freakonomics. I don't know if you've read Freakonomics. But, yeah, I read that when I was doing my A levels. And I bet because I was saying I read it probably in the, yeah mid two thousands or whatever, and you, I just believed every word of it. Oh, is like, it not true? Well, no, most of it's absolute bullshit. I used to use <laughs> anecdotes from it in like That's house parties. Exactly party. what I was saying. I've been in pubs <laughs> going like, life. you know, like the abortion cocaine kitchen. Yeah, 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 the, yeah the famous yeah, one yeah. is abortion caused the crime drop. In America, in oh, the nineties of America, people, less criminals existed. Less criminals. Were I mean, born. it makes sense, but but, but it's actually it, uh, basically, the, the, but the not book, the ratio of crime. No, so the book just, basically it was said, two less car Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, <laughs> babies were dead. Well, that's it. So the but the book Couple suggests like cars. that's it. That's across the board. People stealing less pram. Um But there's also they also do Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers, which is the famous one where the ten thousand hour rule comes from. Oh, you ever heard that? Right. that and they, know, what did they say It's bullshit. That? It's based on one faulty study. Like, it doesn't cut it. Like, and it's based on the numbers yeah. pulled out of some but of the But no arts. one thought that it was 10,000 hours. Once you get to that, you're a genius. No, no, no. But the book does say that the 10,000 hour rule. I'll do it in one hour. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the do book the doesn't. Four hour work week. But the book basically sort of moots <gasps> that no one's a genius at something until yeah. you've done 10,000 hours. And that's just bullshit. There's no right. truth. Yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. it says, but there's I loads. Mean, they go, because they point out the lies where it says, like, no one's ever been a chess grandmaster in less than 10,000 hours. Right. And they literally point out like, That's not there's true. like four or five people that were chess master, grandmaster Studies at 12. Are such you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, so, but yeah. this, so, so, that young so, kid just got to men accepted to Mensaries four. What? What's that? Four years old. I bet I get accepted. To men <laughs> no, no, not not yeah. men clap, <laughs> Mensa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not the men's. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say about a study? Oh yeah, you know there were you know all the studies about like it's healthiest if you eat breakfast. Yes, actually they it's are, not. They are all funded by Kellogg's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Studies. Right. It's actually not healthier. It was they were cool. trying to sell. When Cereal. they come up with that, they were, yeah, but not just that, like a bacon and stuff. Yeah, it was but that industry that told yeah. you that you have to eat breakfast. Right. Since I've not but what if I, because I eat, tend to eat, like if I'm eating, today I had some fruit for breakfast. I had a smoothie. So, so surely Kellogg's have funded a study that has basically made me eat rival foods. So that's backfired yeah, on them, yeah, ultimately. Has, yeah. Their so units still go up a bit, bit eh? I suppose, yeah. It's, um, uh, but yeah, no, it's all, that's the thing, yeah. Most studies, you know, not you have to really look at a broad. And I can't be fucked to do that. So that's I'm why just going to believe That's why I read pop yeah. science yeah, books. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I, read, I listen to a podcast to debunk so what I've just read. Like, if a book is being pitched to me, I will just buy it. I have no s critical thinking skills anymore. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's a novel that's like, this is the zany new thing and it's on right. the. M I'm just going to be like, yeah, okay, and I'll buy it and I'll think that I'm special. Yes. That's all right, though, isn't it? It's, I, I've, I used to be better than that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm reading one at the minute that <laughs> is um, guaranteed to be end up as a, 
a p- episode of this podcast. What is uh, it? It's called um, Stolen Focus by Johan Hari. Have you read any is of his books? Is it self-help? No, not at all. It's basically a, a book about how sort of the modern age and social media and phones and everything everything is just destroying our ability to focus and I have any, any attention. I want to get that. And it's, right it's, now. it's a very compelling book, but it's it what is, is it a very soft focus? stolen focus. Stolen focus. It's this Johan Hari, a guy who wrote um, Chasing the Scream. It's quite a controversial book about mental health and it's f- what was his point? What was his well, no, he's. I mean, most of the stuff he says is is, is ultimately relatively real. true. No, no, mental health crisis. He basically puts down to a loss of community, a loss of communication. Like rather, you know, it's it's that thing of we're not living in a, in a accordance with how we should for optimal mental health. Mm. And he's um, not talking about like schizophrenics, like more like every. No, he's actually. Health, I mean, like he does actually go into like a lot, he, obviously there's extreme cases, but on, on the whole, most people it's circumstantial. It's all he's saying is most mental health. Bipolar are... in like poorer countries, isn't there? Yes. Like um, it's a Western issue, isn't it? Like mm. ADHD, you know, also, ADHD, bipolar. Yes. General levels of happiness. Trans and joke. <laughs> <laughs> I could say that. I was like, that, made it. that was it, that was crazy. That was crazy. But yeah, that's. I think that. we need to get some crystals in here, yeah, like yeah. as soon as possible. But that did covers <laughs> in, in the book. He covers that. <laughs> he covers that whole thing about why is it that <laughs> the mental health crisis is much more pronounced in, in richer countries that yeah. live in less small community. Like you know, if you go to sort of poorer country, they tend to still live in a much more traditional way. Of yeah. like What's that hierarchy thing called? The hi- oh, I know oh, what you mean. Something pyramid of, of needs. Yeah, yeah um, but it's called Mama Ma. Someone's hierarchy Someone's needs. hierarchy. What's the where, name? The hi- where you get all your needs met. And it's like shelter. Yeah. Yes. Food. Pum Pum. What's his name? What's, yeah. the, ge- what's the geezer who came up with Pum Pum's top of the tree, Pum mate? Pum Pum's all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Booby. Batty. <laughs> <laughs> Left nipple. Right nipple. <laughs> Throat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it and was then food, a little blueberry <laughs> on top, <laughs> <laughs> a little strawberry. Uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> it's called Maslow's. Maslow's, Maslow's hierarchy. Yes. There we go. What are they? Can you talk us through yeah, yeah, briefly? Yeah, yeah, Let me just let me just pull it up. <laughs> pull it up, <laughs> Jamie. Pull it out. <laughs> it's uh oh what? So it goes psychological needs. So air, water, food, shelter. I mean, they're like not that. psychological. Are <laughs> yeah, they're very much Physi- oh, the physi- elements. Physiological. <laughs> I'm just thinking physio- about them. Physiological. And you'll be all right. <laughs> I think I need food. Um, <laughs> physiological sleep, clothing, reproduction. Pum pum. Mm-hmm. Um, safety needs uh, is the next tier. So it's condoms, pers- <laughs> personal security, employment, flick knife. Flick knife. Pers- uh, resources, health, property. Van. Then the next one is love and belonging. So friendship, intimacy, family, sense of connection. I might put that on my wall and just make sure they're covered every day. Mm. Yeah. And then next and one. Knock one out. Have a <laughs> coffee. <laughs> <laughs> have an espresso. Uh, the next one is esteem. So respect, self esteem, status, recognition, strength, freedom. Nailed. And. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tick. <laughs> and then the top one is self actualization so the desire to become the most that one can be man this is good isn't it mm. that's better than the secret i want to self actualize yeah. what, uh, right so what uh, what so what would, what would that mean I think it means like it says achieving one's full potential. Full potential. Well, yeah. yeah, but then I so suppose you, getting you to your to, optimum level of you have success. To, um, like but yeah, but, you're, you're, but success is obviously a uh, objective. Yeah. Term. Subjective, subjective term. Sorry. So yeah. So like, my, so one, for, for what's your? What would you? What are you thinking? Success in? So what would be your actualized version of you? I think like actually taking care of my health. What would that Instead feel of like? ignoring it. What does well, that I, look like? I'm, Have a blueberry. I mean, you're 100%. saying you regret not sniffing coke off a toilet yeah. seat. <laughs> 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 yeah, that is true. Well, maybe that would be... I think my self-actualization is just writing more, gigging more. Yeah. But is that But that's like, day-to-day. Like, I, I, that's what I mean. To what end? I, I yeah, suppose exactly. Self-actualization, I think you split. I think it is deeper than that. Of course it is. I yeah. think it's accepting that I probably do have ADHD. Maybe. I don't think you're going deep enough. Yeah. Well, what do you? Because I think of it. Thing? I think of that when they say self-actualization. I think of it purely don't spiritual. It. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I um, <laughs> spiritual terms. I'm yeah, thinking. I, I don't mean spiritual as in like God and shit. I'm talking about spirit, that, like that sense of general well-being. Stopping, to, stopping comparing myself to other people. Yeah, that's a that's a good start. Um, accepting 
the limits of who I am. Yeah, accepting that's my good height, one. accepting that I'm short. Yeah. Uh, that would be good. Um, I don't know. But you said uh, what Am you I don't. Getting you, a brow lift. But you said all. <laughs> the, but that, but you said all the things what you don't want. Yeah. What not, do what you want? You said all like negative things. I want. T- but then it's like, what do I? What do I want that is? The has fo- been the, drilled the into <laughs> me that I should want. <laughs> the and best, what do I actually? Yeah, want? Exactly. That's the soul search. Yeah. 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 But that's what I mean. I, I, so I think of it purely in that sense of, I suppose, um, mm. like a, a level of zen and peace yeah. is what I've always wanted. And I've, I actually think, you know, You've I'm, I'm not far off it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. That's not like enlightenment. Time. I'm talking about. I am now so much more happy and chilled, twenty four hours a day than I Jeez, ever why ever that have why is with that? that. No, I, I think it was before that. I I sort of I'd say mid thirties. I sort of hit this. You know, and it took a good five years of hard work yeah but i did reach a point where most things don't bother me at all like nothing <laughs> I, I find it very Your kid hard crying like sort of whatever but no yeah no with my I'm, i mean I'm, that's what i will say that that sort of like all the, pr- the work i put in before my daughter was born has made me such a when calm the conception. parent that's so yeah. good well <laughs> that's like, what they say is that if you don't sort out your own shit you are just gonna give it well, because stre- pet stress, it can be stressful, especially mm. I'm in a toddler, man. They don't want to do. Fuck yeah. So what you've got to constantly do is just remind yourself that it ain't about you. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. they're doing their own thing, and sometimes you've got to take yourself out of it and be like, yeah, they're upset in a minute because because you whack them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I mean, because they can't they can't work it. Their brains are physically not capable of understanding yeah. like, why they're upset often. Yeah. Mm. And so instead you can't be like, um, stop crying. You can't do any of that because- Just explain the hierarchy of it. needs to <laughs> yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give them a copy of the secret. Um, <laughs> they just want what they want. So you've you just know? got to step back and just let it just be. Give them and just give them There's comfort. something so beautiful about like the simplicity of what kids want, which is like food and socialization mm. and play yeah. and the cozy time. They're very needy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I tutor uh, there's a there's a comedian whose child I tutor. Oh, and really? I, I Which do. comic? James Gill. Yeah, I know I James. Know James yeah. yeah. So I tutor and his. And you tutor him in what? I don't tutor him. I tutor his. You tutor him <laughs> in parenting. <laughs> James in comedy. I <laughs> no, I don't his know. daughter. In the, um, yeah. I uh, know. So what do you mean? You tutor? So you tutor? So I so I help her with her maths and English. How old is she? That's what I was asking. She is seven. Okay. So it's piss easy. Well, for her it is. Mm. <laughs> But she always. Your patients are running thin. English, she's fucking great. She's her imagination is amazing. And cool. then, maths. Whenever we do, I hope that James is okay with me saying this about his daughter. Whenever we do a, like a slightly more difficult issue, mm. she, and she doesn't really want to do it, she's very clever. And she says, "Oh, I need the loo." And she goes, yes. the loo, comes back, and then she goes. Hour later, she goes. Loads of coke around her nose. I've had diarrhea. Really, and she's serious. she says it really seriously. That's smarter yeah. than being yeah, able yeah, to do yeah. two plus two. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know yeah I mean? That's is. life skills. Man. I would say yeah. James strikes me as a very good, fun dad. Yeah, he's a great. Like he, dad. in terms, when you he's say his, that his child would have a good imagination, I, wanna, I reckon he's a fun dad. Yeah, I want to cry every time I walk into his house because the atmosphere in there. Is I imagine just it's jumping. Great. Oh yeah, great atmosphere. In I his could, house. absolutely could see that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He's got two, two little girls. It's a good egg. Yeah, he is, isn't he? But yeah, it's that is the thing with like you know. You've got to just play with them. That's all you got to do is play is the yeah. main thing. And then that's actually teaching you to be able to play as well. Yeah. Yes. Because I was a, I did, I was like a receptionist and did temping jobs alongside comedy for a couple of years. And it was so hard to go out of the adult world into the comedy world. Yeah, yeah. But it's so much easier now I work with kids instead because I'm, kids and comedians are actually quite similar. Yeah, we've got the same yeah. uh, so level penis of... size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, everything's the same. I mean, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, it's a, it's fun though, when you're like, if you get, if you're, there are some days when the games can wear thin, don't get me wrong. Like, yeah. And you, you just know. snap and flip the table. <laughs> but you can't, obviously you can't, but like you just have to, you're playing a game that in your head you're like, I cannot wait for this one to end. Yeah. You know, at the minute my, my daughter's obsessed with, um, there's a cartoon called Spidey and his amazing friends, which is basically, right. they've made a Spider-Man cartoon for spacey sort of toddlers and very young children. Sure. So it's not, you know, kids who are getting to probably Spidey seven or eight. Spidey and his young friends. Spidey and his amazing friends. Oh, amazing. So they basically- <laughs> Young friends. It's a, so they basically Different shrunk them down and given them big heads. Right. So but it's good okay. fun. And she suddenly, for some reason, she just saw a bit of it on the telly in the background one day and just- She's obsessed. Instantly loved it. How old is your daughter? Two and a half. And then she now is upset. Like, I'd say 
30 times a day we have to play Spidey and his amazing friends where but I you have... don't have to watch it though do you, you no we're not just... watching it we're just playing in the house I've oh. cheesed Spidey <laughs> I have to be it used to be all I had of to the be, amazing friends I had to be Spin which was like his one of his amazing friends <laughs> but in the last sort of week I, I have to be Black Panther constantly which and I, I'm not I'm not you black up on that no yeah. but I, I'm not gonna lie <laughs> And I'm, we're, in the, we're in the privacy of our own house. I do the accent. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I, we're playing the game. You've got to inhabit the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Spidey. I'm Black Panther. We've got to run around and do missions in the house. And like, yeah, that that, that it's when the first few games we're playing, it's amazing. But then when we get to like the eighth time <laughs> round running around the house, I often find myself in my head thinking, I'm trying. I start trying to sort of sow seeds of other games to play. Like, oh, how about we how about we play this game or do this or do this? Because I'm just trying getting... to stop being racist. Well there is that, yeah. I'm like, can we... <laughs> this is problematic. But I um You're like, why is my kid enjoying this so fucking <laughs> yeah, much? Yeah, yeah. Like why has she never laughed like this before? <laughs> <laughs> but um but that yeah so that's the, it's I I love it, but then there does come a point when you're like please pick a different game yeah, too. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just starting to just because you you end up just replaying the same game. Yeah like, and they don't get bored. Half an hour they don't ever get bored. They never get bored. They'll just, they'll just, just have wanna... fun and then the next thing they'll think, think of something else to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes you just... You, oh, yeah, you it's nice to, though. I love like, it. It's better. Than, like, what else is there to do better than that? Apart yeah. from loads of stuff. <laughs> 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 Apart from everything else but this <laughs> shitty game. Am <laughs> <laughs> I <My> fucking retarded? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice that it's I do that. Way better, I find when I immerse myself in it and like just, all right. Uh, we're, we're, you know, it's, not, it's nice <laughs> memories, isn't it? Well, it's just better than anything. I do yeah. actually think it's better than anything else I'd be doing during the day. Like, Ren's got this thing. I did it since she was about two. And she, she, she says... Um, well, like, I turn into a freak and I just go mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but she says freak, 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 and yeah. I become, I become a freak. <laughs> like, but I go ballistic. Yeah. Like, I rougher, rougher, front. I turn into these like worse than Pennywise. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. But since, like, when I was two, I could shock her easily, like just jump. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. as if she's nine now. Dial it up. Yeah. I have to dial it. I have to go fucking her. nuts. <laughs> like I grab her by her hair and I in her rear. I'm going. You, like I'm just going mad because it's the only thing can shock her. <laughs> but at any time she's got like a safe uh, word. Yeah. <laughs> She can say like dad, 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 and I turn back, okay. right. and I pretend I don't know. I pretend I don't know what's happened. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But when we're at swimming, like she'll, uh, she tried doing it in public. I'm like, like I can't do it because yeah, I did yeah, it for yeah. a second. I'm like, no, oh, this just looks fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat the shit beat. out of this kid. <laughs> <laughs> just grab her by her hair. Like, I have to be, I have to be so violent. Oh my god. Like, but not actually hurt her, but just like it's really shocking. Yeah, really yeah. jolt her. Like, <laughs> yeah. She yeah. has to be scared, or yeah. it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably a good sign that probably shows that she's really like has a good because i hate being scared nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> do you yeah i fucking hate it really? I, I my one of my flatmates really wants to see megan yeah 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 and i'm like Fuck no! So you don't, oh, right, you I don't like even like horror I, films. I won't be able to even is that that look little, outside my window. Is that the little me? robot girl? Yeah. yeah. Sorry about scaring you. Though. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> it worked though. It worked. Yeah, yeah. I'm so on I edge. Was, I was in freak mode. <laughs> <laughs> just getting out of character. Just shake it off. I get so excited by it though. I yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Re it's really fun. <laughs> the thing is, it does. I think that that is more conducive to being like a good comedian in the evening than like. Would you like a glass of sparkling water? Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Being actually able to play all day is so good for you as a, as an adult. Mm. Oh, definitely. A silly. It's like, it's like fun mm. being silly. Mm. I often like, you know, I do have that <laughs> thing of, like you say, in public. Obviously, if you're doing a game where it could look bad, for public, right? but, yeah, you know, I yeah. often have this. I often, I always try and be silly with her in public as well as at home. Like, I don't want it to, I don't want her to think the that moment there's people around, secret, you yeah. can't mess around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. Like, I, I almost want to instill in her this idea. Fuck, it don't matter, fuck mate. As long as you're yeah. not annoying, as long as you're not doing anything that is really loud on or, other people. Yeah. yeah. I'll never, like, if it's too loud, I'll say, like, we just need to be a bit quiet there's people around. But yeah. I'll also, I'm not going to suddenly, the moment we get outside, just not play the game. Mm. I'm still in the game mode. The, the other day I picked Run Up from school. It was so funny. And, um, and we're walking towards my car and she said, okay, pretend you're a stranger <laughs> and and walk, walk a bit, bit, bit behind me. And I'm walking behind her, like there's, there's people around. She said, 
all right, now tell me to get in the car. <laughs> and I'm like, Ren, I can't. Like, the people, I think it's weird. Just tell me to get in the car. But she was, like, looking at me like, oh, she finished <laughs> it. It was such a weird role play. <laughs> <laughs> I had to fucking pretend to, like, abduct her. Quality. <laughs> <laughs> I got in so much trouble when I was um, four yeah. because my granddad, God bless his soul, came to pick me up from reception. And I just told everyone I had no fucking idea who he was. Uh, <laughs> that's so <laughs> yes, funny. That's good. Yeah. Four, that's yeah. young. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was, yeah. I think I didn't like him because he called Is me Belly Bags. Is that why he died? He called you? Belly Bags. Belly that was his bags. nickname for me. Why? It's a terrible nickname. Fat, I guess. Fat and called Bella. Oh, Checks God. out, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. We talked last episode. Why we were you fat? When you were fat, when you were young. Um, I remember that now. We had a big chat just about I, teenage. Just because I ate too much. I was only joking too. when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the <laughs> real problem in yeah. this. <laughs> um, right, let's do some questions. Um, here we go. Ella said she saw you in Edinburgh and she was great. You were great. Oh, that's really nice. Um, Thanks, Ella. Her question is: How do comedians <laughs> come up? How do comedians come up with the names of their tour shows slash Edinburgh shows? Um, what I was your show called? Baby Cakes. Is what? Yeah, that's a good name. And what was it? I think it was a name that I gave it because I was like, I don't know exactly what this show is. Yeah. What yet. were you gonna call it? Do you remember you told me? I was gonna call it either. Baby Cakes Express, mm. or I wanted to call it, um, I had loads of really good names in my head. I wanted to call it Thought Experiment. Okay. I wanted to call it uh, Milf Pending. I might call that, I can't remember, I might call my name. next that's show Milf name. Pending. Yes. So I think that's quite a good name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to waste that name on a show that's shit. So yes. I'll see how, how good I feel this Give year. Give it to you know? someone else. <laughs> What, do you want to do a show? Is called that all right? Yeah, yeah. Call it Milf Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Milf Slayer. <laughs> Turn up at Milf's house, it's like the pedo hunters. <laughs> Ed, you're all right for your age. <laughs> to catch a Milf. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I think. <laughs> Door stopping Milf's outside Asda. <laughs> Milf Slayer. <laughs> Um, no, but to name, yeah, naming shows, it depends, innit? I think the, the baby what case is an example. I, so I think called? I always call, I, well, nine times out of ten, I call my shows a sort of vague enough title that it doesn't say what the show's about. Right. It's like, intriguing. When you yeah. die. Well, this wasn't comedy, no. This so my was... debut show was called Relax Everyone. It's Carl Donnelly. And no. then my follow up show was um, called How Do You Solve? Sorry about that last show. <laughs> <laughs> It was called How Do You Solve a Problem Like Carl Donnelly. Okay. Third show was called Carl Donnelly 3, Carl Donnelly. Okay. Uh, number four was... So they're uh, all puns on the name. Yeah, number four was Now That's What I Carl Donnelly. Okay, that's fucking funny. Uh, but it was actually called Now That's What I Carl Donnelly Volume 4, I think. Um, and, then and were they all over four consecutive years? Did you take any years off? No, I never took a year off. Wow. And then... Um, the first you one must I've done about twelve. I've done about eleven. So, no, I've done twelve if you include ones I've done in Australia and not in Edinburgh. What twelve different shows? Different hours, yeah. And then, um, but the first one I think I named that was uh, like this is what the show is about was the Nutter on the Bus, and that's the one I did on the bus. That was called Blunderbus. Nutter on the Bus. Yeah, the Nutter on the Bus, and I did it on the Blunderbus in Edinburgh. Oh shit! And then, um, and this but year's you, show that was a whole month. You did it on the bus. Yeah. Fuck and it. this what year's was that like? show, it was great. I loved it. And what was your favourite show that you did and why? Oh, I don't know. I think, do you know what? It was probably that one, actually, the bus one. Mm. It was so fun and such a like, so change wacky. of pace. Yeah. And like, um, yeah. But this year's show is the second one I've ever named that's about, like, this is what the show's about. Sure, okay. Um, and yeah, so like, I think, I, yeah, like, to answer the question, you even, you sort of name it based on whether or not it's, you, it's got a definite mm. theme and you mm. think I need a title that's got the theme in it mm. or you keep it vague yeah. and have it just quite a fun name in it that people just go, oh, that sounds fun. Like a vibe. Yeah, like Joe Lice, it's very good with the old pun titles, isn't it? Yeah, well, Hull's quite good. Oh, yeah, the Incredible true. Hulk. Yes. Um, the Incredible Hull. The Incredible Hull. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hullabaloo, that makes me want to die with cringe. <laughs> <laughs> so um, obviously that's never. That's gonna not bad. That seems like a good like sixth show or something like a big. Yeah. Bat out of hull. Bat out of hull. Yeah. Yeah. Hull hath no fury. Ooh. Boom. Got it right yeah. down. True. That is I think a mountain. I won't, you don't mind. What's that? <laughs> No, I'm all right. It's, it's naturally <laughs> making a mountain out of a mole hole. Oh, mole yeah. Mole hole. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, like, I like that. I'll die on this hole. I'll die on this hole. 
this hole. <laughs> That's quite funny. Yeah. Right I'll die down. on this hole. Um, I can't have my phone with me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you don't bring your phone out often, no. It's in my coat pocket, which is, um, actually, it's right there. But anyway. <laughs> so I hope that answers I'll die the Ricard's hole. question. That's good. Cause it, yeah. I'll die on this hole. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> um, Jagu says, following the very real threat felt by illustrators, artists, writers, and content creators generally, what is comedy's reaction to the rapid growth and use of artificial intelligence? Can you be sure you'll always be funnier than a robot? Yeah, robots aren't funny. I mean, yet, but I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't know what the like. If you're laughing at a robot, that's your problem. But have you seen this chat? GPT, what's it called? Yeah. Lucas, yeah. you seem like somebody with GTP. Isn't it? Yeah, so, so you can't get jokes out of it. But you I reckon can get you can get jokes out of it, but well, I don't good jokes. All no, right. Can you do it live? Can we do it live yeah, in a moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you yeah. bring it up on the you, some some new you can't get it up on the screen, can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you get it on the screen? Let's, well, let's the have the screen. a let's have a go at it. Like, um so basically this is you ask it a question and then you and it just does it. What do you want to you write a say, joke write about? You could say write an essay about this and yeah. it does Why don't we write a joke? Well, pick, oh, why don't we write a joke about um, about uh, bad blueberries? Not bad blueberries. What, what, what would you say? Like a sort of disappointing blueberry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you write chat GTP? Well, I'm just trying to load it up. Okay, no. sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> got excited. It's not allowing it. It's trying to silence us, guys. Is it? Okay, it's the Matrix, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, mate. Mm. We need to go to Romania. <laughs> <laughs> You got a secret VPN. If we can't get it on the screen, that's oh, right. Yeah. Just talk us through it, mate. Oh, okay. We don't need get it. Get on the we dark web. That. We should yeah. get the dark web up. <laughs> <laughs> Order some little boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. At first, I thought you meant <laughs> drunk, and I thought, oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, I, I said little no, boys. No children. <laughs> Just a couple of little boys. <laughs> <laughs> just cut, no, not in a weird way. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just a couple of little boys to pass me grapes, man. <laughs> Chill out. Um, so yeah, but let's, let's see what let's see how AI does a joke. So I've never used this chat GTP. I've used it. Before We're fucked if it's really good. Um, but this is it. I don't. Yeah, I, I suppose I'll just use the it for my Edinburgh show. But, uh, yeah, you, yeah. Just can I? Can you just write? Give it the title. Mm. Give it a little background in yourself and say mm. write an hour. Mm, mm -hmm. Somebody's going to do that this year. Right. What mm. do you want to say? Guaranteed. Um, but say it. They'll do the show about yeah, it. Yeah, good gimmick, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. So say Chat GTP writes me a joke about a um, underwhelming blueberry. <laughs> An un <laughs> Sounds like most whimsical. Mid two thousands joke, does. you know what I mean? Bloke in a cardigan. Though, I've said that. I said bloke in a cardigan. I, I realised I've got I a cardigan a, on. I love a joke about someone's boring life every now and again. Yes. You know? <laughs> what is it done it? Yeah. Right. Um, why was the blueberry so underwhelming? Because it was just a little blue on the outside, but mostly bland on the inside. Come on, that's all right. Isn't I mean, it? it actually is a joke. I mean, it does yeah. function yeah, as a that joke. That is functional. That's yeah. fucked. That actually it's, did that yeah, in real time. Up. Pick another topic. Let's all write jokes. But then it's all, yeah. like, you know what? That's a bit of joke book. It's very joke book and shit. Yeah, but like, at least it's, it's, like, the it's shape an encyclopedia, of a joke. Let's start isn't it? Let's start a joke with a question and well, um, then give the answer, and the answer about, is funny. All oh, right, how about but this? But I did put underwhelming in it. How about a short story about an underwhelming blueberry? See what it comes up with that. Fuck. A funny short story? Yeah, a funny short story about an underwhelming blue. That's a big... I couldn't do that with this my one. brain. Story. You couldn't? About. Right. It would not quickly. Because, um, I, I, yeah, I, I mean, this... Obviously, if it's a long story, we're fucked. But, like, it's... um. I don't understand how it works. How does I don't know work? how to do it. So that was an it samples it, like things from online. It will take a minute to load. So it samples and then it will blend online. in. How your long would it take it you to write an Edinburgh show if you were just doing that? Just doing what? Just writing the Edinburgh show. It depends. Like you know, I can't. I'm not someone of these people that can sit and just write an hour like that. Mm. I, mine is. I'm much more muse. Amuse on it, guys. <laughs> uh, it. Over the course of it's writing of quite a long short story. I'll be honest. Is it? It's writing a tale about uh, a blueberry called Benny. <laughs> It seems really? quite generic. It's yeah. it's reading like a like a child story about a blueberry. Okay, that sounds nice. But uh, yeah, it's, it's very long actually. Okay, can it's you give us a, can you give us a first few maybe a first paragraph? Okay, once upon a time in a land filled with plump juicy berries, there was a small unassuming blueberry named Benny. 
Benny was born into a large into a family of large succulent blueberries, but from a young age it was clear he was different. He was smaller than his si- siblings, and his skin was pale, outwashed blue. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> this story is, this is about shit. me. <laughs> Do you want me to keep going? A little bit more. Just someone here. Despite his shortcomings, good. Benny was determined to make a name for himself. He spent every day practicing his plumping so technique. He shot his school up. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how Benny hard he went into he his t- school and shot every bully <laughs> and every hot girl in the classroom. <laughs> No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't seem to grow any bigger. One day, Benny's family was picked up by a group of berry hunters and taken to the farmer's market to be sold. Benny's heart sank as he saw the other berries around him. Plump raspberries, shiny blackberries, and even a few oversized blueberries. He knew he didn't stand a chance. Benny was a racist. (laughs) (laughs) He didn't get on with the blackberries. Um, (laughs) uh, But as fate was have it, a kind old woman walked by and saw Benny sitting all alone. She felt sorry for the small blueberry and decided to take him home with her. This was Myra Hinley. <laughs> the woman was a baker and decided to use Benny in her famous blueberry wearing? muffins. <laughs> to everyone's surprise, Benny's small size and unique flavour made the muffins even more delicious. Ooh. Soon the woman's bakery... I mean, this is good, man. Yeah, yeah. Soon yeah. the woman's... Underwhelming blueberry is quite specific. Yeah, it was, that was a good story. Yeah, it's, I mean, it goes on to become and he got, Benny's muffins, and then from then on, uh, Benny was no longer seemed underwhelming as a blueberry, but as a unique and special ingredient God. in the most delicious muffins in town. Wow. So inspiring. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so that was, I like You it. are the blueberry. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. The blueberry. Hi, everybody. That's the end of the public episode. Thanks for listening. Um, now, if you would like to hear more, you can go over to patreon.com forward slash. We are TVI. You have to put it in the search bar. Because we still haven't taken it off uh, adult content. Because it's triple X. <laughs> <laughs> it's triple It's dirty. <laughs> Filthy. Nice. Get your willies out when you listen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go over to Patreon, sign up. Uh, what's the, what is it? What's the, what's the tiers? I can't remember what it is. Three? We've got three pounds, five pounds, 10 and 20. (laughs) I mean, the 20 is a joke one. 10 pounds is sort of a joke as well. Three pounds gets you just all the back catalogue extra episodes and hours and hours. I mean, there's what I don't know how I'm a hundred hours extra sort of episodes. Uh, and um, the five pounds here, you get all that as well. But you also, if you wish, uh, get to join the TVI WhatsApp group. Um, and you can also see the full episode or listen to the full episode with a three pound tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So five pound gets you the WhatsApp group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, excellent. That's that's it. That's all you need to know. Get over to Patreon if you want more. Thanks for listening. Otherwise, just thanks for listening to the public episode. And we'll please like and week. share. Yeah, give it a share, mate. Tell your friends. Tell your families. Tell your kids. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Love you.